Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. And in this video, guys, I want to give you an update on what I've got going on with the thermoelectric generator because honestly, I feel like I'm about two weeks behind on getting the build video up and I'm very frustrated with it. So I just wanted to show you where I'm at and, and kind of give you an idea because when this project is done, I truly believe it will be worth all the effort that was put into it because it'll give you a two amp trickle charge um, at about 14 volts I'm hoping to a battery bank but anyway uh, where we're at right now is I've got the fasteners in place and sealed down in the bottom and I have got the uh, plate on the bottom I got this from metalremnants.com super affordable plates they're already pre-cut to size and everything. I already show uh, what I've got in the build video so far. I've got it where how to drill that out and everything and the parts needed for it. And so what will happen here is that at the end, I've got it, uh, looks like a regular electrical plug. But what that goes to is this little box right here. And before I go any further with this, I just want to send a shout out to my wonderful wife. Uh, she got me this workbench and it is amazing. And... Uh, she felt like it was time for me to migrate from doing projects on the table in there and so she uh, surprised me with this gift and I truly appreciate her. She is the most wonderful woman in the world I've ever met. Uh, with that said, this is uh, the box that the cord will go into and what I'm going to have is this female plug will come into the box right here through these grommets that are waterproof. And I've got all this um, cataloging in the build video. But this little part right here is five bucks. Uh, I think it was five or six bucks on eBay. I've tried to find the most affordable parts. What this thing does is it ups your voltage. And um, I tested it out on a battery bank the other day. And it practically doubled the voltage. It went from like 13 to 23 volts. It was ridiculous. I mean, it practically almost doubled it. And so my goal is, is this right now is making about eight amps whenever... I've done the best with it, but I, I think I've got an issue with one of the plates right now, and I'm waiting for the guys where I got the plates from to get back with me on the phone because we've been going back and forth about this project because I want you to buy those plates from them whenever the time comes because they're, I mean, although they are expensive, I think they're really good plates. And uh, anyway, whenever the power comes out of that, it's about 8 volts right now, and you might say, well, that ain't going to do nothing for me. Well, that'll definitely charge your small devices, no joke there. But I'm not wanting small devices. I'm wanting it to go through and charge a battery bank. So what this hopefully will do is increase not only our amperage but our voltage. And um, they come in good packs. I mean, the company I found it from on eBay, good stuff. So I'll put that in the video link. Anyway, once it comes into this and through that voltage booster, we're either going to have, I'm either going to pick up a digital meter to show the voltage right here. And if I can stick a charge controller down here, I'm going to stuff it in too. And that way you can see everything right here on the box. And then you just hook your alligator clips to your battery bank. Um, and that's it. And it's really not rocket science. I mean, there's just, all you got is a cool side, a hot side, and your plate sandwiched in between. Your power cord coming out. Up the voltage a little bit. And uh, run it through the charge controller. You see your voltage. And out to the alligator clips. And... Uh, I'm going to keep working on this project. I don't know. It may be a couple more months before I'm done with it. it it's been one of the hardest projects I've ever worked on um, in my entire life. And um, I'm not going to give up on it. I'm going to keep on going until we get it right. And I just wanted to show you all that progress is definitely being moving forward with this. You know, we've built the wood gasifier. We've built bicycle generator. You know, I've done all sorts of projects on the channel. But I'm passionate about thermoelectric power and I want this one to come to life okay so once we uh, get a few more pieces in and everything and hopefully get a little bit more testing done uh, on the lab we can get it finished up because I'm looking forward to the day where I can slap my little radioactive sticker on my coolant tower and it's neat when this thing's sitting on the stove because once it gets to temperature and this is making voltage and power the steam finally starts coming out of this and it looks just like a nuclear coolant tower and that's exactly what I wanted it to look like but there's no nuclear radiation to worry about it's all clean thermoelectric power so guys that's where we're at with the project um, and please be patient with me I'm, I'm just trying to get this right because when it's done the, the, the great thing about this is if I've done this right um, you should have about 400 bucks invested in this project and I know you're probably saying oh my gosh but there's no moving parts 
and at the end of the day, it hopefully will charge a battery bank. Uh, worst case scenario, six volt Trojan batteries, and then you could wire those in series. But um, this will save you money because if you look on eBay and on online, I mean, thermal electric generators go for like uh, up to I think eight hundred or nine hundred bucks. I seen one on eBay, and I'm like, really? Ain't nobody got that kind of money. So this hopefully puts you around half the cost and no moving parts. That's the goal. That's always the goal on this channel is to help you guys out. This is not only a prep channel, it's a ministry to people. Okay, guys, and I want you to have something that will last you and help your family when the time comes. So I hope that's a help to you. Until we see you again here at 7 Trumpets Prepper Channel, once again, I want to thank my wife for this wonderful workstation now that we can start doing great projects on. And I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.